Welcome to the FDA Drug Safety Podcast for Healthcare Professionals from the Division of Drug Information. On May 26, 2021, FDA announced restricting the use of Ocalava, active ingredient obetacolic acid, in patients having primary biliary cholangitis, or PBC, with advanced cirrhosis of the liver because it can cause serious harm. PBC is a rare chronic disease affecting the ducts in the liver that carry bile, which helps with digestion. Some PBC patients with cirrhosis who took Ocalava, especially those with evidence of advanced cirrhosis, developed liver failure, sometimes requiring liver transplant. Based on the original clinical trials, FDA believes the benefits of Ocalava outweigh the risks for PBC patients who do not have advanced cirrhosis. We will continue to monitor and evaluate the clinical benefit and adverse events of Ocalava and will communicate any new information to the public if it becomes available. FDA added a new contraindication to the Ocalava prescribing information and patient medication guide, stating that Ocalava should not be used in PBC patients with advanced cirrhosis. We also revised the box warning to include this information along with related warnings about this risk. Ocalava was approved in May 2016 and has been shown to improve the alkaline phosphatase liver test in patients who have not responded well enough to ursodeoxycholic acid. Healthcare professionals should determine before starting Ocalava whether a patient with PBC has advanced cirrhosis, as it is contraindicated in these patients. Routinely monitor patients during Ocalava treatment for progression of PBC with laboratory and clinical assessments. Permanently discontinue Ocalava in patients with cirrhosis who progress to advanced cirrhosis. Also monitor patients for clinically significant liver-related adverse reactions that may manifest as development of acute on chronic liver disease with nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, jaundice, scleral icterus, and dark urine. Permanently discontinue Ocalava in patients developing these symptoms. FDA identified 25 cases of serious liver injury leading to liver decompensation or liver failure associated with Ocalava in PBC patients with cirrhosis. The 25 cases include only those submitted to FDA and those found in medical literature. All of these patients were taking Ocalava at recommended dosages. Side effects involving Ocalava should be reported to FDA's MedWatch program at fda.gov medwatch. A link to the full communication detailing specific information for healthcare professionals and the complete data summary can be found at fda.gov slash drug safety communications. If you have drug questions, you can reach us at druginfo at fda.hhs.gov and follow us on Twitter at FDA Drug Info.